Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Monica and my channel is all about helping emerging bands get ahead in the music industry. Today we're going to be talking about a bunch of different apps that can help you or your band get organized and make the most out of your time and money. Some of these apps are specifically designed for the music industry, whilst others are just general organizational apps that I happen to think lend themselves really well to helping artists manage their time or projects. All of these apps are completely free or have a light version and I'll link them all in the description box down below along with some key points so you can download them later if you want. Before we get started, I'd absolutely love if you can subscribe to my channel, that's the red button down below. I have heaps of rad videos coming and I'm putting out videos every Tuesday and Friday. The first app I want to talk about is, drum roll please, Google Calendar. It's hard enough to coordinate five individuals, let alone five musicians who may not be the most organized of individuals. Each band member can record when they're not available in the Google Calendar and then share it with all their bandmates so whoever is in charge of booking the shows can see which dates they need to work around. You don't need to put everything in there, just maybe when you're busy on like a Friday or Saturday night or other nights that you would normally have gigs. You can also block out times for rehearsals, band meetings, photo shoots and you can also use the find a time or suggested time feature to figure out when everyone's available. The next app I want to talk about is another organizational tool but rather than organizing the people in the band it's organizing the projects. Trello is amazing if, like me, you're a visual person. It allows you to visually map out projects, create to-do lists, and then assign tasks to individual people. It has a desktop and a mobile version, and you can also get it to sync to your Google Calendar. How I'd use it is I'd create a different board for each project, for example, album release. Within that board, you can create lists of what needs to be done. For example, if it was an album release, you might have writing, recording, mastering, artwork, printing, stuff like that. Then Trello has these things called cards. These essentially break down each list into smaller tasks. So for example, in Rides, you can have track one, track two, track three. And the cool thing is you can also drag around these cards. So once you've written a track, for example, you can drag that track over to the recorded list. Or in Artwork, you could have Research Potential Artists, Make Contact, Write Brief for Artists, Draft One, Draft Two, Artwork Received, etc. You can assign a card to an individual and you can also create due dates. If you want, you can switch to the calendar view, which will give you a better overview of what needs to be done and when. As I mentioned as well, you can sync this calendar with your Google calendars and set reminders and have everything in one spot if you like. There are heaps of tutorials on Trello out there, but if you want me to do one specifically for, say, an album release or tour planning or something like that, just let me know in the comments and I will record a video for you. The third app is the Bands in Town Manager app. You can use this app to list gigs online, promote them, send messages to your fans, link to tickets, link to the venue so people can see the map of where it is. You can also add the Bands in Town widget to your website to automatically sync your tour information, which makes things really easy. Now, one of the most common issues I hear of bands having is getting on top of their social media. You've got Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram stories. Well, have no fear, there's something called Hootsuite which can help you organize everything. Hootsuite allows you to schedule your Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram posts in advance. All you need to do is set up an account which is completely free and then link your channels. So just a disclaimer, Hootsuite does post automatically on Facebook and Twitter, but it actually doesn't post on Instagram. Instagram have terms and conditions which don't allow third party apps to post on that platform. What I do recommend is sitting down once a week or once a fortnight and scheduling out all the content for that period via the desktop app and then downloading the mobile app so you can get all your reminders for Instagram. Hootsuite also allows you to reply to messages and comments all within the same screen instead of having to log into every platform. It also allows you to create a stream with a specific hashtag and you can set that to whatever you want. So what I would do is I would set that to your band's name and then whenever a photographer tags you in a live photo or someone tags you wearing your merch, then you can easily see that and like or comment or even regram it or something like that. Next up, we have Spotify Insights. So this app is pretty self-explanatory. It just allows you to edit your photos and your bio that display on Spotify. It also allows you to view play counts by day or month see which playlists within Spotify your songs are being added to. You can also identify listeners by city to help with tour planning, compare metrics with other artists and more. 
The next app I'm going to talk about is Big Cartel. Now you guys have probably already heard of Big Cartel, but I really like the mobile app. I think it's really easy to use and very handy for when you're at the post office and you have to quickly look up an address to post something out. Big Cartel is completely free if you have five or less items and you can also customize it to fit in with your band's branding. Customers can pay with PayPal, so it's completely secure and you can also print off receipts to include when sending off your merch. I also find Big Cartel is an awesome way to sell pre-sale hard copy tickets for shows. Followers can purchase tickets online and then you just post them out to them ahead of the show. It means you don't have to drive around delivering hard copy tickets to maybe someone you don't know. Also, sometimes people find it a bit intimidating to contact bands directly about tickets, so it's just a good alternative and increases the likelihood of getting people in through the door. I have received a number of requests from bands to make a video on how to get people people through the door to your show so stay tuned for that one and once it's out I will link it up the top for you. Finally we have a really cool app that can help manage bands finances. Now this is more of an app for when you're constantly touring but you should definitely be aware of it nonetheless. It's designed to help manage your finances and royalties and merch all in one place. Some of the features include merch counts, show settlements, expense and revenue reports, automated team notifications, the ability to sync to song kick and bands in town, schedule and event management, the ability to share and print day sheets, and heaps more. So that's it guys. If you've used any of these apps, I'd love you to let me know what you think in the comments below. If you have any other suggestions for apps for artists, I'd love if you also left a comment so we can help each other out. Feel free to follow me on my social media, and if you think this video might be helpful to someone else, then feel free to share it with your bandmates. I hope you guys have an awesome day or night, or whatever the time is that you're watching this, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! use the finder time or suggested 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 times suggested times that is a tongue twister